G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Not just another episode really, it's the 100th episode. I thought I'd try and combine all the best things. Giant crayfish, giant mud crab, and a big old coral trout. Oh, here comes Jacko now. I'm gonna do a big family cook up for you guys. And I just, before we go any further, I just wanna say thank you so much for all your support. 100 episodes, almost a million subscribers. Like we are only like 50K away. So while we go and collect some firewood and make a fire, I'm gonna roll on the clips of when me and Jackson got the crayfish yesterday. Check it out. The man Jacko dropped the ski in and we want to try and get a crayfish. So we found some bobbies. It's blowing its tits off. We're going to get in the water. Fingers crossed, we can get a big cray. All right, let's do it. Drop, 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 drop. Oh, oh, there it is there. Right, yeah. Yeah. You didn't do your wedding up. I forgot to do it up. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> There we go, there must have been. Yeah, look, I reckon six under there or more. It's packed. Oh. And this was one of the smaller ones I thought I'd grab in because it's going to taste a bit better. Yeah. But, uh, phew, it's a good size anyway. Yeah, good size. Play beauty. Chuck him in the esky. Well, Jackson wants me to grab another one because his mother in law is here and he wants to give her one. So he's trying to get brandy points and I'll do all the dirty work. Watch this. Yeah, he was locked in there. Oh, guys, I just got him. Just got a bugger. Yep, watch your feet. Yep. Oh, oh. oh. oh shit. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, that's a big one. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, this one! Ow! Oh, Strata! I got myself some big sticks. The girls got some little sticks and some tinder. Jacko's just rocked up. Cat Isla and, and Cat's family are on their way. It's pretty much just glassing off to absolutely beautiful conditions. Ah, yeah, so that was pretty epic grabbing that crayfish. There were so many under that bombing. Unfortunately, it was absolutely pumping and we just sort of got in, got out. Grabbed ourselves some feed, well, exactly what we wanted. So now, I'm just gonna get this fire started, baby. Last night, me and Jacko went down, way down the coast, and got some mud crabs and a few swimmers. I'll roll on those clips. Ooh, just try to... This skeleton of, I think, a big sheep, by the looks of it. It's pretty old, doesn't stink. Male, female. <laughs> oh. Both. <laughs> Strider's revved up. Strider's revved up. Yeah. What I'm going to do is, because we've never had a ute before, I'm just going to hop in the back of the ute with Strider and we're going to cruise. I'm going to sort of try and train her to stay in the back of the ute. And also, I'm like filthy muddy. Oh, there's so many mosquitoes. Yep. All right, that's a good start. Strider, come on. Up. Hang on. <laughs> oh, girl. All right. Whoa! Go through some mangroves. Woo! How cool is that? Oh, bit of a river crossing.
we're at the spot. We're here. Oh, look at the last of the light there, Strider. Hmm? Come across a mud crab or a swimmer. I think we timed that tide absolutely perfect, like the fuel running out. And what the crabs will do is they'll come out of their homes, come out of the feeders with the tide and follow it out the front here, feed, mate, do their thing, and then when the tides turn, they'll get a free ride back in. So we put it on here. Fingers crossed that the crabs are out at the moment. Yeah, sure. Get him. Yeah. Looks like a good male swimmer there. For those that don't know, you can tell it's a male by the coloration in the, the claws and stuff, a lot more blue. The nippers are normally a lot longer and bigger. And the biggest giveaway is this is more triangle. The females are rounded. So as you want to know, the size from that point there to that point there is about a beer, beer can. So that's definitely size. Oh, dang it. Sorry guys, I'm interrupting. Getting it on. Maybe we'll leave these two guys to it. All right, there you go. Hello, mate. Where are you going, huh? Where are you going? Look out! You beauty, Jacko. Didn't take us long. It's a big beautiful. buck. Missing a nipper in action. But that one there is beautiful. A bit of growth on the nipper and uh, a bit of coloration in the shell. He's super hard, super full, and we'll keep this guy. And uh, that's exactly what we want. We'll keep looking. Well done, Jacko, good spotting. Let's put him in the bag. What do you think, Straddy? What do you reckon about this, Straddy? Oh, no, there is a little puffer fish. I'll let him go, I don't want to distract him. I don't want to disturb him too much. Just making his way out. Corey, <laughs> watch out, right up. Woo! Woo! <laughs> what we found here is a frogmouth fish, and what they do is they make these big, deep burrows, and they just an ambush predator. At night time, they come out and they sit at the front of their holes there, and they wait for a fish or a prawn or anything to swim over, and they just absolutely light them up. They're the ugliest fish, and we've just seen one. I'll turn the light back on now. See him? See his eyes? Oh, he's gone. Yeah. So see these holes here, they're like scary as, and inside that is like this ugly fish. So what I'll do, what I'll do next time is I'll come down here and I'll catch you one of these guys. We used to do it when we were grommets and I'll show exactly what they look like. They are, they are really, really cool. All right, that was a bloody good session. Got a couple of swimmers, big old mud crab. Nice little mixed bag there, that's gonna be delicious later. So what we'll do is we'll start steaming back towards home. It's probably an hour and a bit drive. And um, we'll put these crabs on ice or in the freezer, put them to sleep. Oh. So the girls are just gonna go for a quick spin on the ski while me and Jackson keep making this fire. I'm just gonna get the drone up in the air. Big mud crab, giant crayfish, and they got the fish. This is cold trout that Jackson got the other day. I'll roll on those clips now. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> How'd you go then? Jacko's just going to prep this big crane now to put on the hot plate. So he's just going to take the tail off, clean all the meat, cut it out of the shell, cut it into pieces, get a bit of garlic butter ready for it. And uh, while he's doing that, I'm going to light this fire. Most of the YBS family are here now, so I'm just going to get this fire started. I've got the $20 knife from episode 11. It's still alive. i got a flint. It's, uh, it's seen better days. All right, so what I'm gonna do with this igniter here is when I get it over the fire pit, I'm just gonna grab it together and really shake it really hard and all the finer bits will fall and I'll use that to create the actual tinder and then this stuff will make it go up. All this finer stuff here, hopefully that makes it go boom. Yes, 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 oh, we got fire baby episode 100, Woo. eyes burn my legs, Ooh. we'll just get the fire brewing a bit more, we need some really good coals to cook that crab straight on the top there, that's my favourite way to cook crab, full, just nothing into it, just crab, oh, I'm getting hungry now. This little fella here, Centipede, just crawled out of the firewood. They have a really nasty sting on them, but they don't want to sting you. They're pretty cool. He's just looking for a place to hide because I scared him. Hmm? All right, mate, see ya. I've got those coals ready for this crab to go straight on. I'm just cleaning all the mud and stuff off and uh, prepping it, nothing too much else. Once we cook it, we take all the guts out and all the nasty stuff. This guy's going straight on the fire. And I'll just say that this guy is not alive. We put it on ice in the freezer and it went to sleep. It's the most humane way to do it. So whoever thinks we're putting this live, you're an idiot. <laughs> Go. Hello, do they make Very important, you position it. Perfect! Oh yeah, Mr. Crab, thank you. Oh, it's already going a little bit red. Oh, I love that. Ah! Oh. <laughs> That's gonna leave a mark. You hear that? Got some garlic, butter, crayfish right there. I prepped some fish in there. This is like a panko coating. We got a wild amberly right there from America. And we've got my mud crab sitting in here in the coals, starting to cook itself, which is absolutely delicious. And that fire there is just getting hotter. And when I get a bit more coals, I'll spread it out, chuck me a little pan on top of that and cook some fish up. Chuck that pan on there and I'll just build this fire up now. Wait until it's nice and warm. How good is that? Crab, fish, cray in the back, getting ready to go. What is going on here? Very <laughs> <laughs> uh. mean coal. Well, it's easy as it with a glove. So much better with a glove. Look at that. Woo. Oh, she's getting a bit hot. Yeah, take it off. Um, that's just going to pretty much become like a coal oven and that crabs. See how there's a bit of um, residue coming out of the nippers and everything like that? That's only got another five or ten minutes left. It's hot. Oh, love this part. Ah, like hot. Ah. All right, there she is. Oh. Ooh. I reckon that's about done, the shell's cracked. I just built the fire back up, so once the cooking's done, we have a little fire there. Oh, I might go a little taste test. 
that was what I dropped in the sand. That's good. <laughs> That's really good. Mmm. Taste, test, taste, test. Is that good? Did you cook it? Taste, test, taste, test. Whoa, geez, you just put that back, Jackie. It's good, isn't it? Mm. Oh. You got lots of hair in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, barbecue flavour. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just going to make myself a little cold trout wrap. Got some green shit, a wrap, a bit of cheese in there. <laughs> all right, a little bit of secret sauce. Oh, it's put sand all over that then. Did you see that? Yeah. That's all right, I like sand. Oh, I just put more over it. Look. Here's to episode 100. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. That's very good. A little bit of cabbage. Mmm. Just wraps up there if anyone wants to make one. Give us a bit of crab. A bit of crab? Do you want some fish or cray isla? Okay. Oh. Cray? Yeah, probably does so good. Alright, we're just gonna smash a bit of this. When that crab cools down, I'll clean it and we'll get into that. What's your favourite? What's your favourite? Fish, mud crab or crayfish? Fish. Fish? Fish your favourite? Yeah. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Good girl. <laughs> oh. Can I have some cheese, please? Thank you. Uh, I'll tip some on here. Oh. 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 <laughs> Go down the water here. Take the top of this crab, clean the guts out, get it all prepared, and put it back on the table there and get stuck in a little bit of it. We're all pretty full, but this is dessert. Oh. We're gonna just crack that nipper open, get into a bit of this, that's all meat in there. The crab. Oh. <laughs> so jealous, it's only one nipper. Oh. Grab some lemon, you squeeze it all on like that. You grab some secret sauce. A little bit of mm mm. Like a popsicle. And there you go, big ocean lollipop. Oh, delicious. Right. <laughs> mm, I left a little bit for someone. Anyone want? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Do you want that last bit? Are you joking? Yeah, you are. <laughs> I knew he was. <laughs> Come here, Isla. <laughs> Daddy? Here, look, Isla. Ready? We'll open our eyes up.
All right, guys, that's it for another episode. That sun's just about gone. It's absolutely beautiful. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, guys. We're so close to 1 million. Thank you for all your support. We really appreciate it. That was episode 100. We did the big cray, mud crab, and the coral trout. Me and Jackson, we're going to get stuck in it straight away tomorrow and head out wide and hopefully get ourselves a big ruby, but we're not sure yet. Anyway, phew. See you, guys. Thank you. Oh no. Film. It's trying. It is. Come on. Ah. Oh no. Keep it going. We're just going shark, oh. man.